Sorry, dude. Neighbors. I apologize, man. I just... <laughs> no, man, that wasn't even... Lord have mercy. <laughs> Lord have mercy. NANI?! Dynamite! Dynamite! Trigger. But, let's not, let's not be out there now. I wanna know what's, what's really funny to me. <laughs> when people, hey, like, when people try and sell you something, you think they'll come a little bit more correct, right? That you think they'll have a little bit more decency. Let's learn something about decency. Hello? Yes, sir. Hey, how you doing? Hey, sorry to bother you. I'm Fernando. I work at Peak Energy. We're a few doors down. We're in 1845. Okay. So we do solar around here. We're just coming around talking to niggers. Uh, sorry, dude. Neighbors. I apologize, man. I know. <laughs> no, Yo, man, that wasn't even... You're not sorry. No, that's you, bro. <laughs> that's who you are. Fernando, that's you. That's... Hey, how you doing? Introduce yourself to yourself, my guy. It came out so easy. Bro, you've been practicing that line in the mirror. Tell me, this is how you know you, like you just don't belong here. And the thing about it is, you came to the hood looking to make money off the hood, but you don't even respect the hood. In your mind, the whole time you've been walking door to door, knocking on these people's doors, offering them nothing but a scam, because you look at it, I looked into the company. It's just another one of these scam solar panel ass companies that just trying to put those panels on your thing and they'll pay for it up front for the first six months. And then you have to take on the charge. And guess what? It's going to be more expensive than what you thought. It's like AT&T telling you it's $70 for your phone bill out the door. No questions asked. You sure? So I get this phone, I get this plan, and I'm only paying $70. Unlimited text, unlimited call, unlimited data, $70 out the door. All right, perfect. Ring it up. All right, your total out the door is 160. Then it's going to be like, what? Why come to the hood? Like, wh why would you send this person? You want to know why? Because they know where their money is green. They don't need nothing from you other than your green. And when you don't go out of the hood to spend the money, they'll send people like this to come find you and make you spend your money. Look at how easily this came out this man's mouth. He, he has a script in his mind, but his subconscious is holding on to that begrudging racism so tightly. He can't think straight. 45. Okay. So we do solar around here. We're just coming around talking to niggers. Uh, sorry, dude. Neighbors. I apologize, man. I would have I stole off. He reaches out to Kai and comfort him. Get your racist ass hands off of me, you fucking maggot. Sorry, dude. Neighbors. I apologize, man. I know. <laughs> no, man. That wasn't even... Uh, Lord have mercy. <laughs> Lord have mercy. He is so fucking extra. <laughs> and he's married. Like, and and I'll, okay, let's just get into this bill because I could talk about this idiot all day. First and foremost, you know he says this shit all the time. You know he says this shit all the time. And I want to talk about a situation. When I was in my younger years, before I got my master's degree, yo, yo, Dr. Umar, you got to love Dr. Umar. He's so fucking extra. Oh, Dr. Umar could never be caught in Nigeria or Africa. For all the talking he's done, I've never seen him in overseas, but that guy is fucking hilarious. But uh, I worked at a carpet company when I was right be before I went to school to go get my master's. And they sent me to O Block. To go clean carpets. This was a room full of Mexicans and white people. I was like one of four black people. And they sent me first day on my own to O Block. Now, mind you, when I was training, I was out there in Country Club Hills. I was out there in Northbrook. I was out there in Naperville. 
cleaning carpets with my trainer, with my trainer, white guy, so watching him rack in bills, $400, $500 for two hours of work cleaning carpets. I was just like, oh, yeah, this is bread. Fuck school. I'm good. It's amazing what $500 do. I literally spent $1,000 today and didn't even think about it. And back then, making $500 in a few hours is so... Money is such it's such a motivator. But when you really start to make real money, that shit becomes obsolete. Obsolete. Fucking spend a thousand dollars on a hotel room today. And I was just like, who am I? I'm only gonna be there for five what? Not even five days. Two days. Two days and a night. Crazy. But they sent me to O Block. And I got there, lugged my shit all the way up to the top apartment, whatever, cleaned that motherfucker out. And when it time when it's time to pay, I called in to radio with a purchase. It was for a hundred and thirteen dollars, hundred and thirteen dollars, and they were like, "Are you sure? Did they did they give you the money? I'm, I got the money right here in my hand." And and they were so shocked. They were like, "Wow, last time we sent someone over there, they got robbed." But I I'm, I I I I belong. And the whole time I'm sitting there talking to everybody like, damn, so you clean carpets? And I was telling them the game. I was like, yeah, you just clean the carpets and they pay you. I was give, I was telling them the game. And they realized, oh, that he one of the smart ones. He made it out the hood. But he ain't afraid to come back to the hood. And he ain't afraid to tell us how he's going to pay for his degree. I don't know if that was the mutual respect line or maybe because I was 6'5", 300 pounds. But it is clear to me that they want our money, but they're not willing to respect us. And the thing that kind of compounds that issue, the thing that kind of compounds that issue is that they actually don't believe they should have to serve us. We sh they, Their honest belief is that we should just hand over our money. He is upset that he has to go door to door begging black people for business. Black people he doesn't respect. Black people he has no solitude for. Even in his delivery. He has no brochures, nothing to give them, no information. My word is enough for you. That's a that was a that was trade school one-on-one -on -one for me. If someone's trying to sell you something, they don't have a brochure for you, they don't even think that they they expect you to think their word is golden. You're a stranger. A white one, uh, uh, off. I think he said his name is Fernando, so he might—he's Mexican or something. But for all those, and this is also the tale of Texas. It was with the hard er. You could have came off with the a, but you wanted to insult. When you put the er, you want to hurt someone's feelings. And and he can't, and he's just sitting there. Let's let's look at Doctor Umar one more time before we go. <laughs> Yo, clap it. Stop sending these fake ass, racist ass white people to the hood. We'll keep our money. At least hire a black person to send them. Shit.